Welcome back to the channel. We have another Pokemon Center video where we have Christmas items here. And it's always going to be Christmas in Japan, even though it's October. Let's check out behind me. We got the tree already in place. They are ready. And decorations are everywhere. All these. Look at this. They're starting to put them in place. It's a cool walkway. And these light up, the trees light up, and that tree will light up, and this whole place will be all Christmased out. And the Pokemon Center is well decorated too. It's gonna be a Paladin Christmas in the Pokemon Center, which I have a feeling might have some really cool original plushes. You do not want to miss this episode of the Pokemon Center. So subscribe if you wanna see this and future tours. All right, let's go. Let's see what kind of items they have today. We're just going to show you all the new items that I found this time around at the Pokemon Center, starting with the Paldia Christmas, brand new. These are stickers. Can you see what they have? Oh, that's cute. They have cute little designs. This is something that hangs up off of maybe like an ornament. Oh, so it's like one string that goes across, and then you hang these you 18. images all across. All 18 are inside. That's cool. Oh, it looks like a pin, a Paldia Christmas pin with a nice Christmas design, similar to this. This is the postcard. It looks cool. You have all four of your Pokemon that you expect for a Paldia Christmas. Pikachu, Sprigatito, Quaxley, and Fue Coco. We have a notebook here. Oh, nice. You got some Scarlet and Violet Pokemon on the back. A lot of them, actually. And look at how many Pokemon can you find in there. There's so many, actually. They're all hidden in the back. Pause the video, check it out. And this is a clear file. <laughs> it, it sparkles. See? So oh, cool. And this is a Venonat wallet, which feels very plush, not plush, but like leathery. It's interesting. I don't know if I would have this type of wallet, but hey, it's an option. A Venonat wallet for 4,000 yen, a little expensive, but is this Christmas-like? I don't know, but it's here. And this is Paldia Christmas Market. Oh, this is like a stand that you put on your desk. It's like a 3D image. It's pretty cool. Heavy too, for 4,000 yen. Paldia Christmas Market. I don't know, I just, I just see Fue Coco here and it looks so cool, the design. It's this, Happy Holidays. Is it a poster? So you can hang it up like that. 1.5 meters for this. Oh, all you can see is this, but that's the image that you would normally see. You got a plate here. It's uh, not ceramic, it seems plastic, but it's very lightweight, super lightweight plate. But the design, the Christmas designs on there, you got the Paldia party or the Paldia Christmas right there. Rotom, you can see a Rotom, right here is a Rotom. And we got fork and spoon, a Pikachu spoon and a Palmy fork. Very expensive. How much? Oh, 2,400. For, that's a lot. And the Paldia Christmas cups, which are gonna be hard to see because it's not colorful. But you got your main design on the front and you got, you know, just a cool set of cups. Heavy, not glassware, decent. How much is the cups? 1,300 yen, half the price of uh, the fork and spoon. That's crazy. Look at it, it's Christmas Pikachu. He's huge though, he's not normal size. He has a wreath on his head, a nice Christmas hat. It looks good, just rather big. I wish it was a little smaller. Advent calendar. These are fun. This sweater, it's like an ugly sweater, but look at the eyes. It changes. You can make it size. Delibird's eyes can be black or 
Oh, wow. Ooh. Oh, that's a real eye. <laughs> stocking stuffers. We're actually in a little uh, stocking. Or fue coco. Or spaghetti. Oh, and Pikachu's here too. Nice size. You can only buy five of them. Which one's your favorite one? This one. This one? Nice one. I personally like Pikachu. Oh, it's like a bouquet of flowers, a Christmas style with uh, the stars. This looks really nice. I like how Fue Coco looks here. Oh my goodness, 8,500 yen. It looks cool though, but what would you use it for? I guess it's like a Christmas gift. Or a little bouquet for a nice rosy dinner. Palmy. Actually, this is really cute. Uh, they chose a good Pokemon. Because it's a Paldia Christmas, that's why they have Palmy here. Decorated with just a very tiny little bit of Christmas on the ears and the scarf. Nice bow. I love the color. The color really shines. And he's very soft. And the last plush that I saw was this Psyduck, which has a Christmas bag on the side and a Christmas scarf or bow tie. It's a scarf. And Christmas hat. He's so interesting. Look at this section. It's uh, the advent calendar. I think this is an advent calendar. They have numbers, one through I think 24. You just can't see it, but every day before Christmas, so December 1st, you open this one, something's inside. A Pokemon prize inside. Oh, really? Yeah, is yeah, it yeah. Inside now? I'm pretty sure they're like cookies or something inside. Yeah, there's candy inside. It's grape candy, white chocolate, milk chocolate, orange candy. So definitely buy this if you have kids. I think these are glass, like you get one of these eight right here, if you can see. And they're very, they have very cute designs on them. But I think it's like a glass ornament or keychain, you can see. This is another random box of items. Oh, similar. You can see it in color now. They have these items on it. Each one of these, so this is 1760 yen. This you can only get five, maybe a piece. So 1700, 1700. This is 8,000. Yes, 8,500 for this. How much is big, big, big Pikachu? Oh, he's 4,000 yen. And then these two are 2,800 a piece. Which I really love this guy. Whoop, whoop. So this sweatshirt looks obviously like what we saw up front. And then in the back, it has a simple design, nice red, blue, and yellow, with a, is that a little ball in the middle? It's interesting. Very big though, look how big this thing is. We have Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon, Espeon, and then, you know, the three from Gen 1. Oh boy, and turn around. And Eevee. These are very, very cute. Very small. I expect them to be bigger. But they're very cute. I like this one, but I think that Umbreon's the best. It usually resells for a lot and it also looks the coolest, but it's never here. It's out of stock online, it's out of stock in store, but everyone else is here. So you can collect all eight because Umbreon's not here anymore. The Evolutions were created in 2017, so I believe they've re-released them now in now 2023. And so... You can buy most of them, you just can't buy Umbreon. They look nice though, collect them all. And they're just 1200 yen, a little high. The Scarlet and Violet starters are here as Poké Doll forms. Uh, actually only two of them. It looks like Sprigatito's not here. Oh, it's up here. They do have it. And we have Squirtle and Charmander and Mimikyu. No Bulbasaur. That's cool. Yona and Yona Ghost are still here which is crazy, even though Halloween hasn't even occurred. But Christmas is around the corner here in Japan. These bags, these are all new bags. Look at this furry bag. It's so soft, so fuzzy. It looks cool. Oh wait, look at this, if you open it. A picnic lunch, that makes perfect sense. So I've never seen this series or heard about it, but it says bring a picnic. So I think you could put your drinks in here. It's also fuzzy. Look at this, it's very cute. I think it's a purse, a mouse shawl purse. Very, very soft. I love this. Their faces are so amazing. They are like screaming for help. No, whoops, now they need help. And we have this scarf here. 
Is it a scarf? Yes, it is a scarf. So you could look like her. 5,500 yen for this. Super big. Very, very soft. These are all soft. Would you buy them all? They're all over 5,000. And this is 4,000. I like this. But I would not buy it myself. I don't need a purse. What's this? This looks like a scarf too. <laughs> That's really cool. Why is he so angry though? These might be one of the cutest Pokemon sleeves I've seen. I might actually buy this. This is really cool. I think it'd be awesome to have my cards covered with this. I mean, there's other ones here too. This design here, this one as well, and this one. Which one is the best? I think I'm gonna buy this. They have a mat. No way. This might be one of the coolest mats I've seen. Too bad you can't open it. A mat looks like that. Oh, they got big, big, big plushies here. This is one of the coolest plushies I've seen. I love the color, the eyes, it is so cute. And it has a big belly and it's so soft. I can't buy any more though. I've bought too many in the future though. And this is cute too. It reminds me of a little donut roll. Oh, it looks so sad. And then they do have the dolphin here too. This Bring a Picnic series is uh, interesting. So it's like a beanie, but it's, you know, it's those hat with the little uh, earpiece. It keeps you warm, good for the winter. Or bucket hat, has ears and everything. 4,000 yen, and what's this one? I think they're both 4,000 yen. I think this is more my style. And Bring a Picnic also has Tinkatong, a pink sweatshirt. That's a cool design with the Bring a Picnic logo. That's interesting. Very, very pink. So here's that scarf I saw earlier. It looks better outside the package. <laughs> Why is he so angry? They do have a jacket underneath. A Bring a Picnic jacket. Another Bring a Picnic red jacket behind it. And the interior is full of nice designs too. Also, there's two. Interesting. What's this? Graveyard in the back, I think. Yes, it's a graveyard. This is what the one in the back looks like has this design right here. Bring a picnic if you are. It's very simple, very white. Now you got yourself some interesting size plushes here. Squirtle, Dragonite, Mewtwo, Mew, Rayquaza. Let's go down. Ooh, Mimikyu. MVP right here, Greninja. And our two bigger EVs. Leafeon, Glaceon over here. Snom. That's a very, very cool. So this is the snowy Pokemon section. Alolan Vulpix on that row. And then you got the legendary section. Mew, Dragonite, Vaporeon. That's not legendary. Gengar. I think it's Gen 1 section. Because then if you go down low, it's Gen 2 section. Right? At least it looks like. What's this section then? Eevee section. Full with uh, Lucario. And this section? Gen 9 looks like. Except for these. Gen 8. My Pikachu have different faces. They have this sad guy right here, which I think is one of the best. I love when it's not normal. His eyes are like little slanted down, so he really looks sad. So much emotion right here. Then you got super, super happy Pikachu right here, which just can be seen as normal. You got the crying eyes Pikachu, super excited. I think this Pikachu right here, hidden away, is cool. He's not sad, he's just sort of like there. He's present and in the moment. This Pikachu is cool. Oh, actually this one too. You see his ears, they're down. I think that is very, very original. I don't see many with their ears down. They're mostly up, but these two, not him. These two, and three actually, ears down. But they're happy, happy, happy. This guy looks like he did something wrong. His eyes are like, he's guilty. But is he innocent? Who knows? This one right here, angry. Like something happened and he's not happy about it. I believe this is Ash's Pikachu episode one. Just straight upset. There's so many to choose from though. They all have different faces, different arm positions, different sizes, different eyes, different mouths. See like his eyes, they're different than others. And then his arms are down. But then this one, well his arms are down too, but this arms are crossed. But his eyes and mouth are different. Their sizes are different. They're wider, some are fatter. So it's really your own Pikachu. There's so many to choose from too. It's like, I don't know how many different varieties, but there's almost too many of them. 
I can't. And you can only pick one, so you have to pretty much pick your Pikachu. I guess that's why they call it my Pikachu. He's thinking, I swear, he's thinking which one to pick. You see this? They have this tag. And you see this Pikachu right here? Like he looks like he's just eating something with his arms crossed. I figure they have that one somewhere and I can't find him. It's like they made him but he doesn't exist. I want that one. Where is he? Is he supposed to be this one? Because his mouth isn't quite the same. His arms are crossed though. These are really cute, my trainers. Um, and they're all out there, perfectly displayed actually in this Pokemon Center. So you can see them all one by one. So you can easily choose which one your favorite is. Actually, this is my favorite. Really, really simple. I don't like the material on it though. It's a little rough, not soft. I thought it'd be a little more plush. He's cool too. They're more like, like homemade dolls, it feels like. Oh, this is cool. The whole bottom row is actually really sick. But yeah, very much you feel the felt. So it's up to you if you like that. Some, but it is an original design, so that's cool. If you can't handle that, then just, you know, get some keychains. Very simple design, square design. I wouldn't say it's the most authentic because it seems cheapy, but it's still the Pokemon trainers. Another box of Pikachus. So many. See? They have all these you can find. This one, I haven't found either. I would love to have that one. The angry but like mischievous look. Where is he? They still have this keychain, which I never looked at it for like in detail, but it's each of the Pokemon on it. You got this cute Piplup Pinurchin right here, Wiglet, and what trio? Can I get it out? There it is. That's really cool. All four of them. A four for one. I thought they were one, you know, sort of get lucky you get it, but you get them all. That's really cool. This Pikachu keychain. It's just Pikachu itself. Silhouette. That's pretty cool. Very, very simple. 